Good morning, everybody. This is Greg, Redneck Workshop 1. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today we're going to look at the next addition to the 2018 Ford Super Duty F-250 Diesel. This product is by Fox. Uh, RideFox.com. You can go there. they got a nice uh, website, very informative. Uh, has all the information that you need. You can look it up by vehicle, by application. Nice website. Packaging was rather well. Even has a uh, seal that was on it that's a holographic seal. Most of your box has been tampered with or opened and shipping. We got this the other day. I can't say that I'm really highly impressed with the packaging. But it is what it is. It did arrive in one piece, but all they did was stuff something here and here, and this was flopping around inside. So I think they could have done a little bit better job on that. But uh, the box did arrive intact, even though it was, who was this? This was, is this FedEx or was this UPS? FedEx. Even though FedEx delivered it, the only little damage to the box was this crease right here. That's where some of that was, so that's not that big of a problem. But what we have here is they have two different grades of a steering stabilizer. They have an AES, I believe is what it was, and an ATS. One's about 280 and one's about 430. If you look around, you'll actually find the find them on sale for 40 to 50 bucks cheaper depending on which one you're looking at uh, I suggest that you buy it from someplace that uh, you're comfortable with not just eBay sometimes because you never quite know what you're going to get but steering stabilizer what this does a lot of misconceptions out there about what a steering stabilizer does. The inherent name, stabilization. We have lifted trucks, big tires, all kinds of stuff on vehicles. And what that can sometimes do is give you a lot of feedback unwanted when you hit a bump or something and it wants to take the wheel out of your hand. The steering stabilizer helps take some of that rebound and shock out of the steering system so it gives you a longer steering component life because it's taking a lot of the shock load out of it that keeps it from hitting the pump the uh, gearbox and other places so steering stabilizers have their place do you need the big fancy dual steering stabilizers or quad steering stabilizers you know you see on stuff Usually that is a, uh, a band-aid for a badly designed system or poorly installed system. Usually one to two, two probably would be for something that's got 44s, 48s, 50s, you know, really big pieces of meat that require some extra dampening just because of the sheer amount of rolling mass that uh, can provide shock load back to the steering system, but most applications all you really need is one quality steering stabilizer Fox Bill Stein uh, I used to would say rough country but I'm not sure about their quality anymore but Bill Stein Fox in my personal opinion uh, Carly you know put some of the better stuff out there on the market today I chose Fox because I am going to be going with the uh, the Carly C A R L I uh, 2.5 Backcountry uh, two and a half inch leveling system, and that utilizes the uh, Fox 2 2.0 2.5 uh, shocks that are valved for Carly for the Ford Super Duty. And the one thing that I really like about the uh, the Carly system is the fact that they have engineered they've taken the time to develop the system not just as a generic thrown together kit but that so all the components work together and they actually say state that uh, 
your ride quality will be better than stock. And that's very important for me because 98% of the time my truck is on the street or the highway uh, pulling a large boat or the camper or trailers, you know, it's always doing something. And ride quality is very important. Uh, my family likes to take trips, so, you know, eight, nine hours in his vehicle, ride quality becomes a very important part of the equation. Uh, this truck is replacing a 2003 7.3 diesel. Have loved that truck. Uh, I've owned it since it had seven miles on it. Uh, it's now got 170,000 miles on it. Uh, a lot of years it was uh, parked because I had a company vehicle that I drove, so it didn't get driven every day. But it has served my family extremely well for over 17 years. So I have zero complaints about it other than it's a 17-year-old vehicle. It was time to upgrade coming to the 21st century. So to do that, we are doing a lot of modifications that I had already done on the other truck that I really like, but now we've got to bring this truck into the fold and make it mine. And one of the first things we're doing is the Fox ATS steering stabilizer. What makes this different from other ones, as you can clearly see, the shaft goes all the way through. And when you compress it, you can see it comes back out this side. That is very unique because none of the other steering stabilizers do that. And uh, I kind of think it looked kind of cool. But uh, this is supposed to be one of the better ones. It is adjustable. It has some very high quality components. The machining is uh, excellent in my opinion. No burrs, good finish, nice fit. Uh, so far, I'm impressed. You can loosen this pinch bolt right here, and you can actually clock this to wherever you need it to be <coughs> to keep anything from uh, having a fit interference. Uh, so far, it looks very well made to me. Everything is together. That's got a uh, Allen head sunken bolt that connects that to this. <coughs> it does have one pretty good ding right there, and I have a feeling that is from that hole we saw in the box because there was no stabilization with this in here. It was just flopping around. So that is one piece of shipping damage right there. But other than that, it survived the shipping. Now, of course, if this had a big ding in it, or the shaft was bent, or had a nick in it, you know, we'd have to be talking some returns. But for the most part, everything else looks pretty good. Fox, you should put your logo right here. That would have been cool. I think we're going to have to file that little bump down. But we're going to put it on the truck and see how well these come together. Uh, these are just plain Jane steel CAD coated bolts, not stainless. That would have been a nice touch. So make sure you put some uh, anises on these before you uh, do your final assembly so that uh, you can get them apart later if you have to. The other, <coughs> excuse me, working on a little bit of a cold here. Uh, one of the other big selling features of the Fox over a lot of other places is A, is this is engineered for my truck, it's not generic, uh, is it's fully rebuildable. Uh, 100,000 miles for street use, 10,000 miles for off-road use, pull it off, you send it back to them for around 70, 80 bucks, I think is what the white rib site said. They uh, recharge it, new fuel, uh, new oil, and for another 35 bucks, they do a new valve in it. So they, they go in through there and make sure everything's the way it's supposed to be and recharge it and send it back to you. So theoretically, you could uh, drive this for the life of the vehicle, just get it rebuilt once in a while versus some of the other types that uh, you just basically unbolt it, you throw it away, and you bolt on another one, uh, the generic bolt-ons. The stock ones from the factory, 20 to 25,000 miles, and the shocks are pretty much done. Uh, the factory does not put on high-quality shocks or steering stabilizers because their whole deal is to make money 
to put the uh, the least amount they can into the part and, and stuff like that because they want to replace them because they want you to come back in and pay the high prices at the dealership. But uh, putting something like this on eliminates a lot of those trips to the dealership. Doesn't make them happy, but uh, you will be happier in the long run. And if you get a chance, look up Carly, C-A-R-L-I, lift systems. Uh, I, I am very impressed with them. Uh, I was looking at putting the Bilsteins on this truck and everything else, and then I found out about them and got to reading about them and uh, studying some of their uh, literature, and I, I'm very impressed with it. And matter of fact, we're going to be getting the 2.5 lift system for our truck, and we're going to do some videos on that install and all those pieces, and we're going to let you know how it works. But uh, so far, I'm very impressed with them. Uh, like I said, I had the uh, Bilstein uh, 5100s on my 2003 for... 15 years and have absolutely loved them. Uh, they're still going strong. Wouldn't, you know, like I said, if, if I hadn't found out about this system, I would be going with those. So either one of them, in my opinion, would be an excellent addition to your rig. And uh, you need to do your own research and make sure that you're comfortable and happy with what you choose. But this one is a very nicely made unit. I'm very impressed with it and I can't wait to get it on the truck. We will uh, get the truck turned around and uh, pulled in the driveway, and uh, we got some things to do today. We're going to get some film of it, and we'll get some videos up. And once again, y'all have a great day. Get out in the shop. Make something. Have some fun. Enjoy life. Be careful out there.